I think uh, there is a need for a, a redrafting of the attendance zones. Uh, I think there, are need, there is the need for uh, a, a new look at the total the enrollment and attendance zones and the total uh, school population in Fort Worth. In response to a request from Judge Howard Green of uh, Tarrant County, the Small Business Administration has designated the counties of Fort Worth, uh, Tarrant County, and Dallas County as uh, a disaster area. This will uh, enable the victims of the flood that happened Tuesday night to secure low interest long-term loans from the Small Business Administration to uh, put themselves back into business. Uh, we propose to have a loan officer stationed at the Chamber of Commerce here in uh, uh, Tarrant County in Fort Worth to uh, visit with the uh, people that have suffered uh, losses and uh, to help them in preparing applications. James Griffin, Regional Director of District 5 of the Office of Economic Opportunity, stated less than two weeks ago that OEO was contemplating withdrawing funding from the Dallas County Community Action Committee unless the poverty sector and the governmental sector can come together for the good of the people that it was designed to serve, and that's the poor. Mrs. Aline Hardy, coordinator of the DCCAC Community House Component, says that last Saturday the executive board called a meeting of the DCCAC and the meeting was mainly to shuffle the priorities as set by the four advisory boards and the governing board. The main area of concern over the shuffling of priorities is that priority number one, which would keep the target area coordinating council over the community house component, was reshuffled down to number 24. Funding is determined by a numerical sequence, and according to Mrs. Hardy, the executive board moved priority number one down to number 24. Mrs. Hardy also says that the purpose of today's meeting is mainly to clear previous press releases that they attended last Wednesday's meeting of the DCCAC to protest their being under the target area coordinating council. However, Mrs. Hardy says that they were there to ensure simply that the TACC remains as the governing body of the community house component. Gene McIntyre at the Multipurpose Center in North Dallas for Channel 8 News on the Move.
place as I go, that name for you. Of wild time. You gonna let me borrow a pencil again? Here's a lad that has done an excellent job. He has an outstanding steer. And we'll... Well, how much did you pay for shotgun originally? $234. Did you ever have any idea that you'd win this much money? No, ma'am, I sure did. I was really tickled about it. Are you real disappointed about having to sell her now? Yeah, a little. I'd like to keep him, but that's what I bought him for, to sell, so... I got what I wanted. What's the secret of raising a champion? Well, there really isn't a secret. Just all I can tell you is feed him right and try to win. Just set your goals a little higher than what you want to go. The Crossroads Community Center at the corner of Oakland and Pennsylvania here in South Dallas is becoming more and more a point of contention between newly elected center board members and the Dallas City Council. The newly elected members contend that they were elected under misrepresentation. They quote this Crossroads newsletter, which says the board of directors is a 20-member body appointed by the city council, of which 10 are elected representatives from the Crossroads service area. The letter is from June of this year. The election was in July of this year, and the members say they were elected to a 20-member board, while the city council just recently appointed 20 members of a 30-member board. Well, members of that newly elected board and some members of the city council got together today with city attorney Alex Bickley to try to iron out those difficulties. There was no concrete solution, as you might expect. Instead, Bickley says he'll brief the rest of the council on that and see what they want to do. Bickley points out he can't instruct the council to change it, but he can advise them to do so, and it seemed clear from the meeting that he might just do that. Bill Reynolds, Channel 8 News on the Move, at the Crossroads Community Center in Dallas. By now, everybody knows what Texas Stadium is, the world's finest football facility. They know how to get there. They know where it is. They know what it looks like from the outside, most of them. But not many of you know what it looks like from the inside. So, from the west side of the playing field of Texas Stadium, Channel 8 welcomes you to an almost completed product and invites you to look around. So the stadium will be open to the public this Sunday for the game with the New England Patriots. Everyone has waited a long time. Ground was first broken back in 1969 on the 25th day of January. The Cowboys are anxious, so are the Patriots, and of course, so are many of the fans. It's like a game of hide and seek, if you'll recall back when you were a child. He who is hiding his face counts rapidly and impatiently to 100. And so Sunday it might sound like this. 97, 98, 99, 100. Here I come with both eyes open, all not ready, holler I. This is Jerry Haynes for Channel 8 Sports from Texas Stadium.
The plan we have is the alternate. We've already made our alternate. The plan we have is the one we think is best, the one we plan to stay with, unless someone shows us something better. I'm always open to any kind of a plan or suggestion which will improve educational opportunities for children for black or white or brown children. But to satisfy the demands of someone who might be vindictive, I am opposed to. Would you get 9,000? Tom, Tom, bet 9,000. Now 91. 9,000. 91. 9,000. Say, I'll tell you what, you got Charles Cobb smiling now. 9,000. Now 91. 9 pound little bit down 91. 9 pound little bit down 91. Are you ready to give 91? 9 pound little bit down 91. Are you ready to give 91? All in over 9 pound little bit down 91. Down 91 here, but he give 91. Oh, what's a hundred dollars on a good steer? <laughs> if it was an ordinary steer, I'd say no, but here's a good steer. Nine thousand ninety one. Nine pound little bit down 91 here. Yes, 91. Pick, pack, and cut. 91. I would like all the Tom Thumb people to stand back there. Tom Thumb stores. 